Hi everybody, this is Bill Black at Spirit River. What I'd like to tie for you right now is a rock star. It's a relatively difficult fly. Um, I'll try to show you some tricks on making it easy, but it's also well worth tying because you're going to go out and catch a lot of fish on it. This can be, is primarily used for steelhead here in the Pacific Northwest, but it's gaining popularity both in saltwater and for bass. So feel free to tie these up in all sorts of different colors and combinations. Be sure you use Spirit River materials. Part of the fly is the prep in the beginning. And that's what I want to show you right now where we take um, Spectron or Firewire and we wrap that around the trailing hook so you've got an octopus hook sticking out the back. And then we'll go ahead and string it out and tie the rest of the fly. So we're going to, uh, here's what the fly looks like right now. And I've gone ahead and cut off a little bit of uh, fire line. Here is an octopus hook and what I'm going to try to do is thread that which I've had a problem before with today is thread that through the eye. Once you're through the eye split that open and then go ahead and, and shove that hook through that loop you've just made and there you go. Now you've got the fire line coming right through the middle of the eye and sticking straight out. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to take a shank and that's going to be the front part of the fly. Eventually we're going to cut that, cut that hook off. So here again it's important to have a good base of thread on this. and. What you want to do, if you can, is take your threader and run it up through the material, up through the eye of the hook, spread it open, take your fire line, and you got to watch that little stinger hook on the back because it's already stung me a little bit. And you string that. through the eye of the hook. Now, that's really going to make this thing strong and beefy. Now is the time when you measure the length that you're going to want this. So I'm going to want this between two and a half and four inches long. So I'm going to put it right about there. I'm going to go around here some. I'll wet by the eye. And then I'm going to fold this material back, the Spectron. But when I do, I'm going to take a few wraps with it. Here's the stinger hook. I'm going to go back and forth here. And then I'm going to take a drop of super glue, and that'll absorb down inside. And that's your base for all of these strung out flies. So, what you do is you run your um, fire line or spectron through the eye of the hook, open it up, come back so that the spectron is going right through the middle of the hook. You run it down here and through the eye of your front hook and back and then cinch that down really good and put a drop of super glue on it. Okay, so what we've got going here now is we have two vices set up. Um, and if you'll notice, uh, I've put that front hook inside of this front vise right here. And then I've added another vise to my table and I've added that stinger hook back there and I've created some tension on this line here. I've gone ahead and left my thread on here because that thread is what I'm going to use to start securing stuff to it. So you can start winding this around and it's a whole lot easier if you just take this and grab it and you can go around three or four times and that has got your thread all the way to the back now. So what we're going to first do is we're going to do a little bit of dubbing I'm going to start with some purple dubbing, which I happen to have right here. 
and we're going to use a dubbing loop on it but right now I start by starting with the the dubbing get my noodle started I guess is what I'm trying to say okay. um, got a little uh, thank you TJ I've got uh, A dubbing twister. So I'm going to go around and I'm going to bring this up to about halfway. And there again, I've just grabbed that whole thread and just pinched it and brought it up. Now I'm going to start with that dubbing loop. Um, lightning jig dub is really a nice one to use. This fly gives your arms a good workout and shoulders. So now I'm going forward with this. Once I get up here, I'll probably brush it out just a little bit with my dubbing teaser. But boy, this fly with that super glue on there and this stuff over the top of it, it's pretty much welded together. On a difficulty level, I'd say this is probably an extremely difficult fly to tie. So much so that normally the commercial ones that we produce, we have a cone in the front. <laughs> it's a nightmare to put that cone on the front of this and so what I've done is TJ and I agreed that we're just going to use a, an eye on the front of this so now you've got your uh, little dubbing body on there I'm going to take a little bit of rough that up kind of brush it back a little bit Grab it a little if you see anything really long and out of proportion. Now, I'm going to take a pink saddle and I'm going to go ahead and add that to the pattern, to the wire. Strip a little bit off. Go around a little bit. Make sure that's in there nice. What this does is, this will um, add some, some resistance underneath that ostrich and it will keep that ostrich sort of sticking up when you're fishing the pattern. And with that ostrich sticking up, it's going to swim. This flies wiggles and swims in the water and catches fish like crazy. It really is a cool pattern. It's a son of a gun to make, but it is a cool pattern. Next, we're going to go with some purple ostrich. Let's go on over the pink. Okay, I've got some some purple ostrich right now and I'm going to cut that out. And the idea is to try to get this stuff to lay all the way around. The other thing is I'm going to kind of measure this right now. I'm going to want it going be just beyond that hook. So what I do is I just force that material down and I take a loose wrap or two. And once I get this done, I'm going to go back and kind of look at it and see where I've missed some ostrich. Um, I might be able to use just a wee bit more ostrich right over here on the side. You can almost spin this thing around in your hands and, and see right where you need a little bit of ostrich. If you wanted to put in a little flash, now's your chance. There, that ostrich is beautiful. It goes all the way around the pattern. I'm going to go in here and just trim this material up. I'm also going to go in here and put just a little dab of 
super glue right there. Again, that kind of just welds it together. Next, I'm going to put some pink dubbing in. It's got a little bit of flash material in it. It's our lightning jig dubbing. Um, I'm going to use a dubbing loop. Do it the kind of the fast and easy way. So I create the loop, the noodle. And I hold on to it and then I add my dubbing spinner. I'm going to go all the way forward now. I'm going to go right up here to the hook, front hook. Shorten that up a little bit so I can get some bite. There we go. Now, the idea here is to spin this pink. I may have to add a little bit more later on. But to create a dubbing loop here uh, and a noodle that I can work right up right up this um, fire line. It's never easy using two vices like this. And now I'm going to try to cover some ground here. If you'll notice, I'm sort of grabbing this this line, but of course the super glue is sticking to my fingers a little bit, making it tougher. But I'm getting there, I'm getting up front, which is exactly where I want to go. And I eventually want this right on the hook, that front hook. Of course we're going to cut that front hood up, hook off when we're all done with this fly. One more. Yes. And then, as you can see, I can go around here. Now, I can take this thread Shorten my bobbin. It's really important to have your thread short on that bobbin at this point. Now, I'm going to quit for the video for a second while I ditch one of these vices and put this hook back here so I can finish the fly. But before I do, I'm going to um, take the dubbing teaser, if I can find the darn thing, and I'm going to um, dub out this tease out all this pink and I know it doesn't look a lot like a lot on the video but it really does add to the overall effectiveness of the fly in the water <clears throat> I'll be right back with some of this cleaned up and we'll put the eyes on and finish the fly okay so now I've gone ahead and ditched that other front vise so I can actually have some room to work here in the front and this fly is waiting to have uh, some more saddle put on it and I used pink underneath the purple here so this time I'm going to use a purple schloppen schloppen is a little different than the regular Chinese saddle in that it's got a lot more web so it kind of swims and moves through the water uh, a little nicer so it's a little bit longer too which suits itself well for this particular pattern every turn I'm pulling that fiber back and even if you wrap the feather over itself a little bit here that's fine you can also strip some of the hackle back makes it look really nice oops I lost my tension there there we go Put that tip out of there, and then I'm going to swoop all of this material back. Take just a couple light, tight wraps, 
pushing that material back. Now we're going to take the pink ostrich. And I've got some um, really nice material here. I'm going to again try to get this to go all the way around the hook. So I take plenty of it this first time. Okay, and now it's time to measure it. And I want this to be just hanging over this purple a little bit. Probably almost to the end of the purple, but not quite. So that seems to be about right. When I lay it on top of the hook, I then push it down with this hand, and it rotates a lot of that material around. Plus, I'm taking a loose wrap first, and then I cinch it down. And I'll go around a couple times. And then um, have a look at it and see where uh, there isn't any of the, um, the pink ostrich. I can see that I need just a little bit more underneath. So I'm going to just trim a little bit more here. Again, I measure it. Now, I take this and I kind of wrap it around so that it's right where I want it, and then I cinch it tight. So I filled in that little blank spot. Now I'm going to put in a little bit of flash. We've got some pearlescent fly flash. And I'm going to take about three or four or five or six strands of that. I've cut the top of the bag so I can just feed the material out. As usual, my trick is put it in my mouth and it keeps it all together nicely. And that gives me enough material for two flies. I trim one, set it off to the side, and now I'm going to center tie it. And what that means is right in the middle of the material I'm going to tie it once or twice and then I rotate this other chunk that was sticking out the front over to the side and then I take a couple wraps of thread back on it. So that basically puts out nice flash material sticking out both sides. Right now on the video, well, it to me too. It looks like it's just one piece. But once it um, loosens up and breaks apart, it's going to be gorgeous. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a Spirit River Real Eye Plus. And I'm going to go ahead, rather than a cone, I'm going to put this Real Eye Plus on. And for you tying at home, this is, you know, makes it a whole lot easier. Because if you have a cone on here, You've got to try to thread that fire wire through the cone and then back through the cone, through the eye. Trust me, it's a nightmare. Buy the flies if you want one with a cone on it. If you want to make your own, do it with some eyes like this. So what you, you see me do, I figured eight this really good, and then I go around and cinch that up tight by sort of um, going just underneath the eyes. I'm going to next take a little drop of super glue on here because I don't want that to go anywhere. And now it's your choice, pink or purple. I'm going to have purple up there, so or I mean pink, so I'm going to put some purple. I'm also colorblind as heck, but I do know purple from pink. I'm going to go around a couple times uh, around that eye, and it just wasn't enough material, so I'm going to build it up a little bit more with dubbing. Now remember there's some pretty fresh super glue back there. So make sure there's nothing in the eye, a nice clean eye. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I'm gonna go up underneath here. Drop the super glue. And hopefully when I take this fly out of the vise, it's going to be moving around like crazy. I've got some pliers here that I'm going to cut, I think, I hope. Yep, there we go. So now, you've got a gorgeous rock star. It's got the flash, it's got two colors of the ostrich in it. It's got our lightning jig dub. It's got a realized plus. Absolutely wonderful killer pattern.
Try a bunch of these at home. Buy our Spirit River materials, please. And comment on our videos. We'll keep them coming. Thanks, guys. Bye.